What is going on everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, back at it again with another review. And this time we're going to be looking at the beats. Now by the way, the last episode did really well, so I definitely thank you guys so much for watching that one. If you guys did miss that one, that's the one with the MacBook Pro 15 inch. Um, and that was like about two years later. This one, we're going to be looking at the beats, which is four years later. I had these beats for, um, you guys can see right away. We're going to talk about that in a second. They are messed up. But we're gonna we're gonna touch on that though. So obviously this is a new series on my channel. When you're buying these kind of products, these ex these expensive products, you want to know how long are they gonna last. You know what I mean? With you know one year or more. So these beats, I had them for four years. We're gonna be talking about unboxing slash presentation. We're gonna talk about the design. We're gonna talk about the sound. We're gonna talk about the battery life slash features. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about the lifespan, which I kind of gave it away already as you guys can see but first up we have unboxing experience believe it or not when you're buying a product the unboxing experience is key when you're spending 300 or 200 dollars on beats this which by the way this is the studios um studios 2.0 as of this as the time of this recording beats or apple haven't still like updated these beats they still rocking out with that they updated the solos but they didn't update the, the studios but like I was saying, when you're buying any product, you want to have a good unboxing experience. The unboxing experience for Beats is just, it's its beautiful. I love it. The presentation make it feel like you spent a lot of money on Beats. And that's true. And that's important. So unboxing experience, definitely an A+. Plus. Um, I don't have any footages of me unboxing this because this was a long time ago. I don't, I don't even think I had this channel when I had, <laughs> when I had these Beats. Design. Now the design of Beats... A lot of people love Beats of its design. This is why a lot of people buy Beats now. And the, um, you know, how popular it is. DJ Khaled, Nicki Minaj, all these rappers that make um, Beats look good and see how popular it is. That's why people buy Beats nowadays. And I gotta say, the design looks great. You know, nice glossy finish. You know, nice little red. I got the glossy black with the red accent on it. Don't ever quote me on this, but I did have the red, um... Solo HDs. This is the Solo ones. Obviously, they got messed up. But <laughs> I always like I, I used to I used to love the red Beats. I should go back to them though. Maybe on my next pair. But Beats, they don't last. But I'm I'm kind of giving it away. But the design is definitely it looks sexy, man. The fingerprints can be a huge turnoff if you wanna you know if you always wanna look clean. You know, make sure you have a microfiber clean cloth. You know, wipe off the smudges real quick. But in terms of that, I'll probably give it a B plus. You know, that glossy finish is cool and all, but you're gonna get fingerprints on it. Trust me. All right, so number three, we have the sound. This is important. If you care about your music, and if you listen to rap and R and B. I would say the beats is cool, but it's gonna give you that muddy bass. It's not gonna give you that balanced bass. It's really that overpowering bass more than anything, but it still sounds good. Now, I know a lot of people be killing me in the comments saying, oh, he said beats sound good, but that's just my opinion. It's gonna give you that rumbling bass, but sometimes it can kind of give you that distortion too. You know, other than that, it still has bass. If you buy beats, man, and if you're a bass head, the beats is cool. But there's, you know, there's other headphones in the market that offer better sounding than the Beats. But yet again, you're paying for the design, you're paying for the, the, the popularity, and it has solid sound. So Beats definitely do have nice, um, you know, nice punches, nice bass to it. So the sound, I'll give it a C. A C minus. I'll give it a C minus. It's good bass, but it's not the best bass headphones in the world you know what i mean you have the skull crushers you know blue deal too shout out to floss floss made a lot of videos on blue deal blue deal makes good headphones too if you care about that sound i don't really recommend the beats if you just care only about the sound but if you want to buy it for the design and the fashion and you want solid sound you know it still has bass let's not get it twisted it's beats then the beats is good for you if you want that fashion and that slight bass but if you care only about your music look somewhere else the battery life on this thing, you got to charge it for the noise cancellation. If this thing is not charged, you're going to be walking around with dead set of headphones, which is basically unusable. They just a waste of space. If these headphones are dead, you cannot use these beats. And I think that's a huge, huge disadvantage. There's a lot of headphones in the market right now that you can still use your headphones even though it's dead. 
like uh, most headphones right now in 2017 you can be able to use the bluetooth feature or you can use the aux cable which is the headphone jack and beats it just strictly relies on that charge if it's not charged that's it but although i can say this the battery life is pretty good it lasts me maybe for like uh three days but the charge it charges fast it lasts as long but it just it can get annoying though when you walk around with a dead set of headphones I've been through it all, man. Now, the features, it has noise cancellation. It's over ear. Um, I'm going to talk about the ear cuffs in a minute. But the ear cuffs is pretty soft. Right now, they're not comfortable right now. But they used to be pretty comfortable. But I would still say the Bose takes the crown for comfort in headphones. If you want to look for comfortable, really, really comfortable headphones for the, like the airplane, I would definitely do say the Bose take the cake for that one. Then the Beats. You plug it in from the bottom. And you plug the other end to your um, your phone, your iPad, or your device that has a 3.5mm uh, um, headphone jack. And yeah, and that's it. And as you guys can see, as soon as I plug it in, it turns on. So it automatically turns on the noise cancellation. Alright, so it's turning on. As soon as you plug it out, it turns it off. Now, I kind of do... I really don't like this feature right here. Um, sometimes I bump into stuff and it just... It just yanks out and ruins your whole music. So when someone is saying like a bar or a nice punchline and someone just, I don't know, or you or you knock into something and it just yanks out the cable, that's whack, man. I used to love this when it first came out, but I think I just need some Bluetooth headphones, man. That's basically it. But it's just annoying. Look, look how easy I can just, well, if it's on your head, it's going to be like this. Look, look how easy you can just yank it out like that. It's annoying, man. Trust me. It's annoying. It's whack. When you get yours, it's gonna be it's gonna be stiff, giggity. But you know, as time go on, it's gonna become looser and looser. So you know, that's really my fault. It's just the wear and tear of beats. It's no Bluetooth. It does have noise cancellation. It's over the air. Whoop de do. Lifespan. How long do Beats headphones last? And I gotta say, man, these headphones are still lasting. Like they both they both work. Like both the air cups work. You know, they both have sound. You know, I think with these beats, my solos, my solo HD, after a while, the, the left ear cuff stopped working. It was only producing audio on, on, on the right ear cuff. And that's when I upgraded to these joints right here. Which is a, which is a big upgrade, you know, over the ear instead of over ear. And I gotta say, the lifespan of beats... <sighs> now, I've been doing a lot with these beats, man, so I can't really get mad at it. It's really my fault. It's just really the wear and tear of it because I had these beats for four years. Everyday use from going to the gym, going to Hawaii, you know, vacation in general because I've been through a lot of places. Every Everywhere I go, I have my beats in my bag, going to the gym, and I think what really messed up my beats in general was like the sweat. So when you're sweating... The PU leather is not gonna, it's not gonna really, it's not going too well with the PU leather. So that's why my air cuffs look like that more than anything. People in the comments saying, oh, it looked like a cat scratched them. Like a lot of people are really joking around with it, but now the case, I just wish the case would have came with like some kind of, you know, some holder to put your, your wire in there. So I don't know. They had that on the old one, but they took it away on the new one, the hard shell case. Which come in kind of handy though, if you ask me. But yeah, so in terms of the lights, man, I can't really give it to the Beats. I don't know. I've been through two Beats and it, they just don't last long enough. And when you're buying headphones, you're not planning on buying another set of headphones next year. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Headphones should be maybe, I don't know, as long as you want. And the light span of Beats is just not there, man. And let's not, let's not forget about the wire. The wire is important. Yeah, but the, with the wire, it, it, it just sucks, man. And I don't know what it is. It's just after a while, it just stopped working. I don't know what it is. But, um, you know, one thing I do like about these wires, it's hard to tangle them up. So once you ball them up, it's hard to, you know what I mean? It's hard to tangle these Beats wires up. And that's one thing I do like about the Beats wire. Um, but you're going to go through a lot of wires, trust me. And look, my Beats logo is off. It's just not good, man. Beats is just not going to last you, man. Hands down, I'll give Beats a D out of an A. The lifespan is just not there, man. One year, you're going to start to see this if you're taking it to the gym, if you're doing that heavy workout. It's just not going to really last you that long, maybe for like a year. But that's definitely not good for a set of headphones, man. But if you're going to use them every day, 
a spec wear and tear very very quickly the wire is mediocre man it's just I don't know. I like the no tangle feature, but that's just me. But overall, I give the beats a C. And yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. You know, it, it does have some hiccups. It does have some flaws. Every headphone is not perfect, in my opinion. Even though I didn't test out every headphone, so I don't know who am I. But let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. But if you guys are going to be picking up the Beats Studio 2.0, they're a good buy, but they're pretty expensive. These are hands down could probably be maybe like a hundred dollars and the solo two should be like about maybe 50 Beats shouldn't be that expensive, but it's just about the branding at the end of the day